Christian, do you imagine yourself at times to be a failure or at best a mediocre Christian? Because there are times when you doubt and fear, times when you're weary, times when you feel abandoned or alone, times when it feels like God's not there, when it seems that he's not even listening, when you wonder if it's all just a big sham. You ever have doubts and fears? David did. He felt like God wasn't even there, that he wasn't even listening. This is the human condition. Even David, the recipient of so many special blessings, felt on occasion that he was cut off from before God's eyes. Christian, you can be honest with God. You can be honest with God. You can tell him how you feel. He knows how you feel anyway, so tell him. He knows your frame. He considers that we're but dust. Discouragement and despair were at times the lot of virtually every hero of the faith that you can name. When Martin Luther was summoned to appear before the leaders of both the church and the civil government, when Luther was asked if he acknowledged his writings to be truly his, and if he was willing to recant the teachings that he placed there in his writings, teachings that contradicted the teaching of the Roman church, what did Luther do? He asked for 24 hours to consider. Listen to the excerpts from the prayer that he said he offered to God during that long night of severe trial. O oh God, almighty God, everlasting, how dreadful is the world. Behold how its mouth opens to swallow me up, and how small is my faith in thee. Oh, the weakness of the flesh and the power of Satan. If I am to depend upon any strength of this world, all is over. The knell is struck. Sentence has gone forth. Oh, God, oh, God. O oh, thou, my God, help me against the wisdom of this world. Do this, I beseech thee. Thou shouldest do this by thy own mighty power. The work is not mine, but thine. I have no business here. I have nothing to contend for with these great men of the world. I would gladly pass my days in happiness and peace, but the cause is thine, and it is righteous and everlasting. O oh, Lord, help me. O oh, faithful and unchangeable God, I lean not upon man. It were vain. O oh, faithful and unchangeable God, whatever is of man is tottering. Whatever proceeds from him must fail. My God, my God, dost thou not hear? My God, art thou no longer living? Nay, thou canst not die. Thou dost but hide thyself. Thou hast chosen me for this work, I know it. Therefore, O God, accomplish thine own will. Forsake me not for the sake of thy well-beloved Son, Jesus Christ, my defense, my buckler, my stronghold. Lord, where art thou? My God, where art thou? Come, I pray thee, I am ready. Behold me, prepared to lay down my life for thy truth, suffering like a lamb. For the cause is holy, it is thine own. I will not let thee go, no, nor yet for all eternity. And though the world should be thronged with devils, and this body which is the work of thine hands should be cast forth, trodden underfoot, cut in pieces, consumed to ashes, my soul is thine. Yes, I have thine own word to assure me of it. My soul belongs to thee and will abide with thee forever. Amen. O oh God, send help. Ultimately, Martin Luther's trust, as David's trust, was that God was his rock and his fortress, a bulwark, a defensive wall that never falls. If you're a child of God, I'm confident that you have a similar faith, although it is oftentimes tested. 